think. And we will need from that. Don't need that. We don't need that. Oh, don't need that. Don't need that. Okay. If you don't like English, it's unfortunate. Okay, um, let me bring chat. I'm not familiar with the advent of code. Is it closure stream? Uh, yeah, one second. I will bring chat up and explain everything. So, advent of code is like competition to solve um, uh, programming tasks uh, each day for most of December. Each day, new task uh, once per day. Right, so I've solved 16 so far this year, and now I have 17 for today's today's task. Basically, open one task each day. I do that enclosure. Uh, that is correct. Um, what else? I don't know. What else? Okay, let's see. Chat this way. Um, pam, 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 pam. Okay, and we're going to need wrapper, we're going to need this. Okay, and we're going to need this way. Okay, let's connect. Yes. Okay, we are ready. Um, uh, I would switch into Ru to Russian, but uh, this also goes to YouTube and uh, some people who watch it in English, so I prefer English. It's been going for most of December, it's just right now it coincident with Kira stream, so that's why they stick together. And the task is in English, and it's more accessible, I believe, if it's in English. Okay, so there's some map thing going on. You finally decode the elves message high, the message says you continue searching for the slate keys. Ahead of you is what appears to be a large Russian trench, but here the keys have fallen into it with better standard probe to investigate. The probe on the submarine that fires the probe with a integer velocity x and y. Uh, for example, like what fire the probe straight up while initial is still alive. Okay. The probe X Y starts at zero zero, then it will follow some trajectory by moving its steps, and each step is changed according to the following order. Okay. Uh, due to the drag, the probe changes by one to the order of zero. This is the case, yes. Due to gravity, the probe's Y is increased by zero. For the probe, the change the probe must be on the same direction because it's the same target there after any Okay, so you have this. The target area means you need to find initial x, y velocity value such that any, after any step, your probe's x position is at least 20 and at most 30, and the probe's y position is given the start one initial that causes the probe to be in the area, and the step is 7, 2. This is our, our start position, I assume, right? In this diagram, as the probe's initial position zero zero, the x coordinate increases to the right. Uh, I don't understand. Okay, so twenty thirty minus five minus ten. This is target area, so we need to hit this. Yes. Another initial velocity that causes the problem to be in the dark area is 6, 3. 
now there is line zero one initial velocity doesn't cause prop to be okay okay the probe appears to pass through the target area but it's never within any, after any step instead if you're going to fire high return out of super cold from launch you might as well do it with style how high can you make the probe go while still reaching the target area and so by example using the initial velocity of six nine is the best you can do according to the board to reach maximum y position of four to five any higher initial velocity causes probe to shoot the target area entire. find the initial velocity that causes the probe to reach the highest y position and still initially be using the target area kind of step so the highest y position just okay oh, okay <laughs> so uh, this is interesting All right um so we are not going to use any parser at all there is no reason to parse this we can just type it as values here Okay. Uh, mass, yeah, yeah, it's, it's about mass somehow. Um, so I assume we can try different axes and y's, uh, find some definite overshoots, right? And Oh. and then just uh, try each poss possibility in this um, in this sector like just try everything right um okay okay but um hmm. okay we start at zero zero so one thing is clear that is clear is that at some velocity you just didn't shoot far enough right so like if you start with say so like five four three two one zero and um if it's less So X will increase in five, four, three, two, one, kind of like this, right? So mean DX would be DX or mean DX would be Am I married? Yes, I am married. Looks suspicious, right? Okay, so uh, the sum of those will be n n minus one half right which is a dating size website yeah I know. um so if we are so basically two mean x right and um Let's say it's n squared. It's actually slightly less than n squared. All right, but, uh, 
So mean Vx is something like this. This is this is our boundary for X. Um, what is max V X? Fuck. <laughs> this is super tricky, right? Well, certainly, if we if we fire with a speed that overshoots in one shot, max vx. Let's say we want this, for example. Yes. Now, what do we do with y? So y is, so let's say we fix vx. So vx is fixed. And we need to find um, somehow find if we hit this area or not. So like once we once we in this area, right? Okay, once we in this area or in this area, so either we are uh, it's over. Okay. Um what do we do? What do we do? Well, let's write a function that does trajectory, right? So def, def and shoot. Um, Vx, Vy, uh, case, min x, max x, min y, max y, right? This is our input. Uh, and we are going to return uh, the biggest y value. Also, it feels like we should start with shooting up, not down. Never shoot down, like it doesn't make any sense to shoot down, kind of. Right. Okay, so we say x zero y zero v x v x v y v y Okay, so this is how our v x, and we need also max y top is going to be zero, right? Okay, so um, if and we also need to know if we hit anything, if we hit the area or not, right? Um, yeah, let's uh, say, well, if we hit the area, yeah, okay, so if 
x is bigger than max x return nil if y is bigger than max y return nil okay um oh not bigger but uh, smaller feels like okay so this is gonna be max y and this is going to be y. right let's call them left right top and bottom i think this is easier Okay, um, left, right, top, bottom, and here max y is going to be yeah. Okay, so if x is bigger than right, if y is bigger than less than bottom, we return new. Um, if Uh, high channel item. If X left, X right, top Y bottom right. So if both are in target area, we return max Y. So this is like our exit condition. We found uh, trajectories that hits, right? Um, otherwise, let's say x prime is x three x. Oh, actually, we can just record uh, plus x three x plus y v y. <coughs> Uh, vx deck abs vx uh, deck vy and max max y y right this is our loop condition so if we it doesn't work and it, it kind of works okay so let's say if we shoot uh with left right top bottom. oh actually with example with example uh and speeds like seven two right seven two we are going to get new so <laughs> It says we didn't hear it. Um, hmm, interesting. Why? Left, right, because we have top and bottom mixed, actually. 75, 114, 10. I like this. Still got yeah. Okay. Um, um Okay, now we got three, right? Uh, zero, one, two, three. Looks looks correct. If we run with six, three, 
we get six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, yes. And uh, zero, nine, all, oh, we get zero. And 17 minus four. We got nil, correct. No idea, sorry. Okay. Is that here the number 11, right? No, I don't know. Okay, yeah. 6-9, right? I guess 45. Okay, so we, we get the correct numbers for <coughs> So let's say we have X range for us, right? Let's say we for each x, we start with zero velocity. <sighs> the solution is math analysis instead of. No, I don't think so. I'm a programmer. I like uh, trying this. Every possibility. Okay, so maybe we say overshoot. Undershoot, right? Overshoot. And if we hit with like zero to undershoot. Okay. So the plan is for each X, right? So Um, well, actually, Vx, right? We start with, I don't know, from zero to right. For example, for example, high spin track, spinter goo. Um, So we try um, vertical speed would start with zero and increase indefinitely, right? And basically like and this is shoot Input, input, x, v, y, right? Um, so this is our sequence. This is infinite sequence. Sequence, now it's called 
SQ. So what we are going to do is take SQ, uh, drop while uh, it is equals undershot, right? Take while not equals overshoot and then reduce max reduce max and it is infinite hmm. maybe I want Let's print and see what is going on. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> uh, no, this wouldn't work. Uh, we need something different. Um, yeah, because this sequence is always infinite, even if we filter it out, it won't work. So say we start with some speed of x. Oh, there's no reason to start with zero. Let's start with one, right? And no matter how hard we try, we never actually hit the thing. Okay, so I think we need to actually this a square a square of t multiple two left. Uh, T T long ink. Right. Okay, so for each of the axes, we want um, We start with increasing um,
Am I using dash to access documentation? That is correct. I am using dash for accessing documentation. Yeah, dash is this tool, and uh, you, you call it with a keyboard shortcut, and then it's on your fingertips. Very, very cool, cool thing. Uh, it has a bunch of languages, so I can like look up Java, Python, uh, Clojure. There are others, I don't install everything, so that there is like C++ stuff, yeah. It's very convenient. It's the same interface. It's accessible through shortcut. I very recommend, uh, highly recommend shortcut. And basically, you just type uh, name of your function and it shows the documentation instantly. Okay, uh, so from the X of seven and for eight. Mm -hmm. Okay, now it finishes, right? So max Y, we can reuse. reuse. Uh, 45, 15, 40, let's see if it's the correct answer. It might be, that's not the answer, right answer, it's too low. Um, okay, okay, fair enough. Maybe we need to, to draw these trajectories or something, I don't know. Or maybe we miss something? No. Hi, Arkela. Welcome to the stream. Uh, it's quite, it's a, quite a party today here. My theme, uh, yeah, uh, this, this is about the Alabaster theme. Uh, it's available for for Sublime Text. There are a few variations. It's also available for Visual Studio Code, I think. Yes. J. It's minimal, it col has column colors, it has um, comments are highlighted instead of uh, hidden. Okay, so it must be bigger than uh, 1540. Uh, it has to be bigger than 1540. Okay, um, now what is my problem? What is my problem? I wish I could review my version. Mm -hmm. 
Sen de olayım. Bekleyelim. Okay, let's write a simpler loop here, but um, I don't see any clear problems in here. Uh, Vy is zero. There's no reason to do, yeah, okay, so it's zero, max y is zero, right? What else do we need? Uh, so let's short. If, it, if it's undershoot, we recur, we say vx, uh, inc vi, and max y, right? If it's a number, max y is a number, um, then we increase the vertical speed and the maximum. So if it's overshoot, uh, we increase the x, and we start with zero and keep the max y. And there is has to be exit condition if the x is bigger than um, all right we return max y okay so this is much simpler version it's probably going to give us exactly the same answer what's wrong how do you see it like that? it's probably gonna give us the same exact answer no i don't know what's wrong Hmm. Why does it work? Maybe we need the same condition. Okay, let's actually We undershoot, but we have. Okay, so we don't detect this situation when um, we need to detect the situation. Okay, so if actually. Uh, undershoot.
We need one more condition actually. And in this case, it, it means we need to, it means our x velocity is too slow to even try to do anything. Well, actually, it's not clear. We still might. No, if that happened, we will never reach the thing, right? Yes. Um, let's see. Does it help fixes it? No. No, it doesn't. It still reports under shoot for some reason. Under shoot. <laughs> so the problem is when we find this seven, right? Seven is certainly enough to get into this. So there is a possibility when we we didn't just pass through the thing. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> let's let's say we have this exit condition, right? An optimal six four four one. Okay, let's try again. I I am curious why uh, the two different answers, but somehow it worked. I don't know how, but yeah, we just hard coded the number um, of iterations. Hmm. Uh, can we do anything about it? Can we do anything about it? So somehow uh, 7 plus 6 plus 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. So we get to 28. So we are falling like right under the thing. But uh, I imagine what's happening is we have uh, like a y coordinate here and next coordinate here somewhere, right? So it falls through. And huh. I don't know what to do. 
Maybe fancy trick shot isn't the best idea. After all, you only have one probe, so you better have on this. You get the best idea of what your options are for launching the probe. You need to find every initial velocity that causes the probe to eventually be within the target area after any step. In the example, there's 112 different initial velocity variants that need to play. Okay. So we will have to figure this out somehow. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, okay, let's see, let's say, actually, let's copy this, right? And uh, let's say we want not max count is zero, uh, blah, blah, blah. So, record uh, take count and here, Short uh, and here we use count, right? And we call it part two action. Let's run part two on the other case. So we get on the thirteen. Ha! Huh. On the thirteen. No, this is because we might want to shoot actually with minus velocity as well. So say we start with minus thousand one or two, right? Wrong. Should be one twelve. Okay, now it's better. <laughs> uh, now it's better. Uh, three, one. So if we start with minus thousand, it's way too bad, right? So we might start with bottom actually. I think. Should be safe enough. Three, one, and six. I actually have common C for this case. We solved it. Uh, it still feels like like a hack. What's unclear to me is how we cut off the vertical speed calculations. Right, so. Uh, the way I see it, okay, so um, So if y is less than top, y is bigger than top, and y plus vy is less than bottom, we are we fire overshoot, right? So overshoot means uh, we, we increase this velocity. And we increase, increase this, right? Now it's infinite. Okay. <laughs> um, Uh, 
or a shot or a shot and max maybe with the, here we start with bottom and here we start with bottom okay okay um this feels like slightly better version okay it doesn't work <laughs> so what am is like words that we can try and we try to increase Oh yeah, starting with bottom feels wrong. So in this case, we actually start with zero and we care about zero. Okay. Yeah, and in this case we get wrong answer. Hmm. Okay, I broke it again. <laughs> uh, when is too much too much? Okay, so it's clearly we have a problem with this condition, right? And I can imagine why. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess I figured, uh, figured it out. So the thing is, uh, the thing is like this. So the problem is we start with this, for example, we start here, right? And we shoot upwards. Um, let me, let me draw it. Let me just open a new one. I, I think I figured it out. I, I know what the problem is. Okay, so see, uh, so this is our starting area. This is our, let's say, target area, right? Or we need to hit here. Um, we start from here. Okay, oops. Um, this is, okay. Okay, so the, the trick is if we start, let me take, make it smaller, I don't know, like this, and let's make it blue and make it white. Okay. So the problem is we start shooting like this, right? And it goes into here and it gets its X speed so that this falls through and it might fall through like this, right? So it might fall through, like we don't increase X. If we increase X, we eventually will be in this area and this is top. This is okay, this is easy. The problem is if we, if X falls exactly like it ends uh, falling vertically in this area, it will fall down, right? And at some point it might, might fall down like this. So it doesn't hit the area and we fire like under shoot. The problem is, the problem is uh, that it doesn't mean we have to stop, right? So if we increase it ever so slightly, we slightly increase this, um 
we might hit right so this might still hit so distance between these two will increase but it might mean that because this gets like higher and this gets slightly higher but less higher uh it means that it can get inside still but at some point it stops makes sense like we fire so hard that it will definitely will never hit so there are two observations that i made uh here uh one is that y trajectory is symmetrical right so if uh, we we are here we will be at exactly the same height when we return right but if we fire up we will be at exactly the same height when we return okay um that means that we will be at zero somehow right we always be at zero at some point that means uh zero it doesn't really matter because uh the area is usually uh down in both examples it's down it's not up but uh, anyways so the the position where we stop calculating is when we are at zero here and the next point is so low that is definitely outside of the or it's of the area right and and that happens like if we start with uh, vi here right it means we will have the same same vi here and is basically if this vi is bigger than a bottom we will miss right and we will never hit again we all we always be at this position uh, uh, no matter how high we fire and if starting from some point the distance between this and the next step uh, will depend only on our starting velocity and it will be too high to remove any chance of hitting this box so uh, that's what we found right and we fire overshot and basically like this okay so this works this is great then next thing we want is to start with bottom right because it's uh, again if we start oops firing down and the first move gets us under the bottom it means we want to hit probably let's see if this still works yeah it still works cool and that means that this actually and we can even uh i think we can do this even. Uh, yeah we can okay cool so this means this uh thingy actually um is legit right we can just copy this loop uh, the same way um can we make it reusable so we know how to calculate every position uh we, or we just don't know what to make of it right we can basically just say vx vy and mass and short for example let's do this let's take this let's actually let's 
fridge will store we'll have a emulator here um, Okay, so this uh, will give us okay every possible option uh, input and here we basically take options input mark and special to reduce max so it takes the maximal shot right yes and in part two we kind of do the same but um, we kind of do the same but we here we say Take two, like this, right? And then we say intercept and count. Okay. Yes, works. Don't even need the work here. Uh, main, uh, main is here, A17, I think that's it, let's see if we have any warnings, no, I don't think we have, okay, now let me commit and I think this will be all for today. Okay, yeah, uh, year twenty twenty one, day seventy. Cool. Yay! We did it. We did it. We did it. Right? Right. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, there's eight tasks left. So, we exactly more than two thirds in. Still, no idea what the picture is about. Let's see my private. Leaderboard. Okay, so a few people joined. I am not the last one today. Uh, thank you for congratulations. But I'm pretty far down the line. And but but the scores are not fair. Uh, I just don't solve the tasks immediately. I just postpone them, and I will get less score because of that. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, okay, so I promised to review the color scheme. Uh, let me open it here. Looks nice, yeah, yeah, great. Uh, I think you're using the wrong font though. Uh, I think it's just brain smaller. And you know that the right font is, the right font is uh, here cut. Picture looks like a map. Yeah, uh, given that the topic of this year is mostly um, getting out of a cave underwater, I assume it is some sort of a map. But like, this is probably cave or ocean range or something like that. This might be person here. I don't know. It is. But yeah, it probably is. Okay, thank you guys for joining. So today we had uh, slightly more people than usual. Uh, 
yeah, tomorrow, probably, I don't know, tomorrow is vacation, but like holiday, uh, weekend, uh, yeah, tomorrow is weekend. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe I will join tomorrow, it's all something. Uh, anyway, thank you and have a nice, have a nice weekend. Bye-bye.